What first attracted me to public health was when I graduated from college, I was sort of in, I was at Swarthmore College, sort of an ivory tower back in the late 70s. And I went from that to being a VISTA volunteer in the coal fields of West Virginia. My interest in WASH was sparked with this work I did in West Virginia because I was working on water and sanitation in these coal mining villages. And these were uh, places where there was no sewage. So the, the houses would be in these narrow valleys that would have a creek, a road, and a railroad track. And the sewage from the houses went directly into the creeks. So the sanitation here in rural West Virginia was terrible. And also the water supply was terrible. Some of the water came from abandoned coal mines and it was full of minerals and tasted terrible. And so here were these serious water and sanitation problems right here in the United States. And that's what sparked part of my interest in WASH. And then I had spent my childhood in Uganda. And so living in a developing country as a child, I also saw problems with water and sanitation. Uh, my father was an environmental microbiologist and he worked on water and sanitation microbiology in the 70s. So I would hear some of this at the dinner table about how he was making the toilet of the future that would clean up the water, recycle it, and then reuse it. I think my favorite part about being a professor at Rollins is that I get to do really interesting research with a great team of people. And that team includes other faculty, other staff, students, and partners. Uh, and we do this work in such interesting places. We work in many parts of the world. We work with different NGOs. We collaborate with different universities. And um, we work on some really interesting problems.